World War I, often characterized as a European conflict, had global ramifications that extended far beyond the continent. Japan, as a participant on the side of the Allies, played a significant role in the Asia-Pacific theater and also became involved in the internment of prisoners of war. This video explores the experiences of POWs in Japan during WWI, the conditions of their captivity, diplomatic considerations, and the broader implications for international relations. Historical Context 1. Japan's involvement in WWI, although primarily known for its actions in the Asia-Pacific region. Japan declared war on Germany in 1914 and subsequently participated in military operations against German colonial possessions, particularly in East Asia. The conflict led to the internment of German and Austro-Hungarian POWs in Japan. 2. Global Implications The treatment of POWs in Japan during WWI had broader implications for international relations, diplomatic negotiations, and the evolving norms and conventions governing the conduct of war and the treatment of prisoners. Conditions of Captivity 1. Internment Camps POWs in Japan were held in various internment camps across the country, with facilities located in places such as Bando and Narashino. The conditions in these camps varied, but many POWs faced challenges related to overcrowding, inadequate sanitation, and limited access to medical care. 2. Treatment and Welfare The treatment of POWs in Japan was generally in line with international conventions governing the treatment of prisoners. While instances of mistreatment and neglect occurred, particularly in the early stages of the war, Efforts were made to improve conditions and ensure the welfare of POWs, reflecting Japan's desire to adhere to international norms and obligations. Diplomatic Considerations 1. Diplomatic Relations The internment of POWs in Japan during WWI was a sensitive issue that required careful diplomatic management. Japan's treatment of POWs was closely monitored by neutral countries and allied governments, necessitating transparent communication, regular inspections, and adherence to international standards. 2. Red Cross and Neutral Mediation The International Committee of the Red Cross played a pivotal role in monitoring the treatment of POWs in Japan and facilitating communication between POWs and their respective governments. Neutral countries, such as the United States and Switzerland, also played a role in mediating diplomatic relations and ensuring the well-being of POWs. Legacy and Reflection 1. Historical Significance The experiences of POWs in Japan during WWI offer insights into the complexities of international relations, wartime diplomacy, and the evolving norms and conventions governing the treatment of prisoners. The internment of POWs in Japan serves as a case study in the challenges and responsibilities associated with wartime captivity and the pursuit of humane treatment amidst the exigencies of conflict. 2. Broader Implications The treatment of POWs in Japan during WWI had broader implications for Japan's international reputation, diplomatic relations, and engagement with international organizations and conventions. The experiences of POWs in Japan contributed to discussions and debates on the rights and protections afforded to prisoners of war and shaped subsequent efforts to codify international law and norms governing the conduct of war. Conclusion The internment of prisoners of war in Japan during World War I was a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that intersected with broader issues of international diplomacy, humanitarian law, and wartime conduct. As we reflect on this often overlooked aspect of Japan's involvement in WWI, we gain insights into the challenges, responsibilities, and human realities that define the treatment of POWs and the enduring quest for justice, dignity, and respect in the crucible of conflict.